All right, guys, welcome back to another Do As I'm Doing video. All of the rigs are running on server power supplies. Okay, so you can see these are from Parallel Miner. Give you an idea up here, give you a little bit better look. Okay, so there's something important to know about this. Um, I read in Reddit uh -huh, um, that these boards, these risers, that you power the printed or the onboard risers they're all connected to the same 12 volt rail i don't know if i'm describing that uh, technically correctly but if you power one of these rather than being isolated from the next one they are all interconnected so the problem with that is if you're going to use server power supplies and in my case i'm using two right so two 750 watt power supplies to power this guy the problem with that is if one of these boards dies then all of the risers are still going to try to draw off of the other one which you can see things are going to get hot really fast now i didn't do the experimenting on that uh, somebody on reddit did a test on it test the electrical and sure enough all of those risers are hot regardless of one of the power supplies being out. So the alternative or the options really are is to use one big power supply, like a 1500 watt or 2000 watt and power everything. That way, if it dies, the whole thing dies and you don't have to worry about these cards drawing power off of a power supply that's not rated for all of those cards. The other option is using parallel miners. I forget what they call it, some kind of uh, power default cable. And what you can see is it's this green cable right here. So it connects the two server breakout boards, right? So it goes, you know, one of them goes to one board and one goes to the other. Where am I at? Right there. One of them goes to the other. And what that does supposedly, according to Parallel Miner, is if one of these guys uh, craps out on you, the other one will shut down as well. I hope that's true. Hope I never have to test that, but that's what they sell that for so that you can use these lower power uh, power supplies and still be safe in the case of a failure on one of them, which on, you know, motherboards where the risers are not, um, you know, connected poorly electrically, that's not a problem. But in this case, it is. The other option is you can use risers and you know, in this case, let's say that I wanted to power three cards on the risers. Well, I'm powering those risers off of one of the power supplies and powering the cards and their slots on the other power supply. That way those risers are insulated, if you will, from the rest of the power and won't cause a problem. I was trying to hook up one of these ducts to this guy to try to mask the heat that was coming out of these power supplies because it was pumping up into these and causing these guys to overheat a little bit, which is why I put these super power fans on there. And in the process, I actually uh, stuck a piece of metal into one of the little fans and the power supply blew up. A little puff of smoke and I thought I blew up all my GPUs, which would have been tragic. But it was only power supply that went bad really stupid but the important takeaway from that is that these little green jumper cables from parallel miner i told you i don't know if they actually work but they're supposed to work meaning if one of these guys fails they fail simultaneously and i didn't have any evidence that that worked but now i do because when i blew up this power supply this one shut off automatically and wouldn't turn back on until i swapped it out with a good power supply so that uh, is a I guess a great uh, learning from a mistake that I made. If there's any upside to that. So we have some confirmation that that works. There's some evidence out there on the interwebs. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Take care and uh, continue to do as I'm doing. See ya. Peace.